Today we are going to perform the dreaded DAU, also known as the Drugs of Abuse Urine Screen. Woo! Okay, so I'm just going to be actually using the positive QC because I want you to see what it looks like. Um, but uh, what it is is a rapid card, a rapid card that is going to test a patient's urine for amphetamines, benzo diazepine, uh, cocaine, amphetamines, opiates, and THC, which is a metabolite of marijuana. Okay, so we're going to bring it to room temperature. It should actually be stored at room temperature. Um, it can be refrigerated, but ours is room temperature. Okay, and then I'm going to write what I am doing. So I'm doing the positive QC, the date, is today and this card is extremely cool because um, it has a cover for the little um, the little strips down there okay so what we're going to do is we're going to get our specimen ready by making sure that it's swirled okay the cap is off like I said this is QC so it's a very small amount in there I'm going to take the card cover off and it says that we need to um, put it in there for 10 seconds and then we're going to um, incubate for five minutes. Okay, so let's get that ready. All right, here we go. All right, it's okay to bend them because this is a, this is a very, um, small amount in here. So one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand, ten, one thousand. And I'm going to shake it in there just to, for a little extra measure. It's okay to uh, bend them a little bit because there was hardly any urine in there. Okay, and I'm gonna cover it back up. Now, the weird thing about this card is that if you look at the interpretation on it, on the cover, it says that when you have a control line and a test line that are there, it says that it's negative, whereas the control line alone is positive, which is totally weird because that usually is not what you would expect to see. Um, so just like, um, chromatography, the liquid is going up and if the, uh, protein is there, it's going to bind to, uh, an antibody that is for that antigen and it's going to, uh, hold it and make that colorful line. Um, so again, the control line, if it is there alone it's going to be positive and if it's just um if it's just the test line that means it's invalid so you would then have to do it again from the same lot and then if it's not um if that still doesn't work out as expected then you would go to a different lot and um, perform your qc okay so see the fourth one over the amphetamine, uh, methamphetamine, is going to be positive even, excuse me, it has a faint line right now, but when you can see a faint line like that, it still means that the line is present. So that, in that case, it would be positive. Again, this is positive QC, so they should all be positive. Um, we're still waiting on the time. Um, currently, I could I could say they are positive, but we'll wait. Um, I'll get back to you in just a minute. Okay, so the test uh, time has ended. We're going to turn that off. And looking at that, they are all positive because the control line is the only line that is there. And that's what um, the manufacturer says it should look like. So these are all positive. Now, if one of these had been negative, it does not mean that, um, that there is a true absence. It just means that there is not enough of that um, analyte uh, that reached the, um, 
cutoff level. So it might be um, it might be less than the cutoff level, but still still be there. There might also be a metabolite that is present in the blood that is not picked up by this method. So um, this is basically just a little screening card, and we use this in class because uh, we don't have an analyzer to do um, the the blood or urine testing that is more sensitive. So um, there are uh, liquid chemistry tests that are performed on large, uh, higher volume chemistry analyzers. This is just a screening test. Um, of course, if you ever get a positive screen, you then uh, need to go for the confirmatory and um, that can be done at a reference lab if it's not done at uh, your place of employment. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.